Hey everyone, it's Bethany, and it's been about three weeks since I posted my introduction to this next project pan. This is the Finish 6 by Summer Challenge. I picked six makeup items, and I want to share with you guys how far I've gotten with them. I haven't used up any of them completely, but there is definitely some progress going on here. So first, I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is in Cool Bone. And I adore this foundation. I have been trying out a couple other foundations and I just keep on just remembering how much I love this one. It's just really beautiful and high coverage. Um, but when we first started this project pan, so the finished 6 by Summer, this is where my intro line was. And then this is where we are at now. So pretty consistent use with this foundation and I will hopefully have it done by the end of this project pan. And then I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. The color that I'm in is Light Plus. And there is more pan showing since the introduction and I will incorporate some pictures so you guys can see the you know before and after. Um, but there's probably a good half of it now showing. I still need to kind of use up around the edges. I try to use a smaller brush for the under eyes where those kind of ridges are. I like to do that just so that I don't have to you know repress it later. I just tried to be a little bit more innovative on how I use it. I can repress it later if I really need to, but I am seeing a good chunk of pan now, so that is always wonderful. Next, I have the Avon Black Eyeliner, and we'll share with you guys the lines that I have. So this is where we started for the intro, and this is the first update. So quite a bit. I have had to sharpen this quite a few times. And I'm not wasting product, but I have noticed that once I sharpen it, it's quite um, kind of sharp, not sharp, but you know, uncomfortable for the waterline on the top. So I do have to kind of warm it down a little bit so that I can get it nicely into the waterline without any kind of discomfort. I'm not trying to bother that sensitive area at all. And I do sometimes have to um, reapply this. So like, I've had this on for let's see, probably about six hours, and so before this video I did have to add a little bit more to the waterline because it was basically gone. So not something that's gonna last all day. Next I have the e.l.f. This is the Mauve Luxe Lip Liner. This is something that I have had, you know, about the same amount of use on there. Um, this is where the intro was, and this is where the first update is. This is a fairly shimmery mauve shade. I didn't really notice that there was that much shimmer in there when I first picked it out or when I first got it, but uh, you probably won't be able to see, you know, via camera, but there is quite a bit of shimmer in there. And it's a really nice color. It's something that you can kind of pair up well with a lot of different lipsticks and, you know, even wear by itself. And it is getting dry, so I'm glad I picked this one for this project pan because it's definitely on its way out um, with the consistency of it. Next we have the MAC Dazzle Glass in Demure. I have made the most progress from this product. As you guys can see, you probably can see a lot of empty tube in there. But it was right here when we first started, so I had only used it a couple times. And then this is where we're at. I will probably be storing it upside down here from um, here on out because the product is kind of stuck there. But I'll do a little swatch. This is something that you can wear by itself if you want just a very nice light wash of baby pink on your lips. Or I tend to put this on top of a lipstick just to give it a little extra shine. I like matte lipsticks, but I don't always like it to be matte all day. So I sometimes have a matte lipstick and then I apply this on top for just a little bit more jazz <laughs> during the rest of the day. And then we have the MAC Lip Glass. This is in the color Warm Embrace. Haven't used this one as much, but this is where we first started. This is where we're at now. So, um, you know, not even the halfway mark yet, but I was concentrating a lot more on this one. This is a beautiful color and it's a great shade that you can wear by itself because it is fairly pigmented. It's a nice, this is really going to be really pretty um, as the days get warmer, but it's a beautiful kind of peachy cream color. So 
really like that shade. It tends to be something that I wear just by itself when I do wear that one. So that is my first update. I think that I will have at least one product completed by the next update. Probably this, this MAC uh, lip gloss will be out the door by then. We'll be filming um, here soon, probably in the next month or so, my like mid-year update for my 2016 makeup use-up challenge. I wanted to do kind of a mid-year check-in just so that you guys can see how many of um, the makeup products that I have used up towards that goal and then it will be really helpful for me as well to see which ones I really need to start like shuffling into my project pan so that I can hit my goal by the end of the year. So I hope you guys are all doing amazing with all of your project pan challenges and I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye!